So we essentially came back from Winter Wonderland yesterday and I've been feeling all the Christmassy vibes, hence the Christmas decorating. First job is to take down the autumn decorations and then it's time to pop the Christmassy stuff up. So let's get started. my gosh guys i'm completely in love with how this has turned out how cute we have both the shelving and the fireplace decorated if i give you a closer look we have this wreath which is all just basically tinsel along with some leaves that have kind of intertwined a little mistletoe a little robin just to give a bit of character and um, the berries come with a branch this pom-pom light I think is from Primark and this was from Prime, uh, Poundland. If we zoom into the little soldiers, they're also from Poundland but obviously they weren't a pound but they look so cool. Completely get like the Hamley's toy shop sort of vibes with these. And we have the little ski gnome again alongside the two little soldiers. Um, and then we've got the little advent calendar section which this is the first time that I put this up because I actually got this on sale last year. We've got the uh, Christmassy gnome here with the bottle brush Christmas trees, the cute little couple here and the boxes of presents along with the other gnome and then if we go up to the next shelf we have this little house light up house here which is gorgeous these two really cute Christmas hangings. We've got the stag, which Alex is not a fan of, but I'm having up anyway. And the little heart, and I just think they look so, so cute. How adorable. I'm so excited. So we essentially came back from Winter Wonderland yesterday and I've been feeling all the Christmassy vibes, hence the Christmas decorating. Um, but what I thought I would show you as well is how I make my Christmassy wreath. And I am going to make quite a simple one this year. But I thought I would show you what, how I'm putting them together and what I've been using. Um, and that's going to go on the front door. So we are nearly there. It's actually only taken a couple of hours, which I'm actually quite surprised about. But um, yeah, how fun. How fun. I just love this time of year. Anyway, let's carry on. 
Um, I've probably got an hour before the others get back and I want to get the room nice and tidy because you know when Christmas decorations go up there's a mess before it gets pretty, let me tell you. So now that the Christmas decorations in the living room are up, I'm gonna have to excuse the mess here because there's a lot going on. We've also got Mimi having a little cat nap. She's enjoying the little noise in the background. These are these stockings. You would have seen these from many, many years ago. Um, but I actually made these and I am considering putting a free sewing pattern of this on my um, website. I just think this is one of the most versatile Christmas decoration bits that I've handmade by a mile and they just, they're so timeless and doesn't matter what kind of theme you're going with, I just feel that they really, really go and they're so simple to make. Um, this one I made from a tartan fleece um, blanket actually, it wasn't fabric, I actually bought a blanket and I wasn't, wanted to make this specifically but I got two of those, one for each of us. 